Hi, I'm Mahesh Jairaman, acupressure therapist, health counselor, and co-founder of Sepalika.com. Recently, a doctor known to me confessed that when she was in medical school, the chapter that frightened her the most was the one on autoimmune diseases. In allopathic scientific literature, the whole family of autoimmune diseases, arthritis, irritable bowel syndrome, Hashimoto's, multiple sclerosis, asthma, just to name a few, have no apparent cause. The body simply begins to attack itself. Since the cause is unknown, the cure is impossible. Patients are often given symptom management through painkillers and steroids that then cause adverse effects over the long run. Luckily, for my doctor friend and for all of us, substantial progress has been made on these diseases over the last few decades to the extent that several doctors now believe that autoimmune diseases are fully reversible. If you suffer from an autoimmune disease or have a close friend or a family member who does and you're wondering why you haven't heard about this sort of reversal, the answer is that it doesn't come in the form of a pill that you can swallow and pretend that the disease is gone. There aren't any big companies who are there to bottle and market the cure yet. It goes far deeper than that. In functional medicine, the doctor looks at the patient as a whole before deciding what's wrong and what will fix it. With most autoimmune diseases, most functional doctors start by repairing the gut. They work with the patient to pick the right dietary supplements and foods to fix something that's called a leaky gut. This is the piece that traditional allopathy has missed when looking for the causes of autoimmunity. I'm going to use the rest of this podcast to explain this vital concept to you. Once you get this, you'll be able to understand why you likely have an autoimmune disease. You can then find the right resources to reverse it on our website sepalika.com. Most of our immune system resides in our gut. Till we eat the proper diet, which is rich in nutrition, the microbes that play a huge role in the immune system continue to be the right kind. One of their crucial jobs is to protect the joints on the inner walls of the intestine. These are called tight junctions. This structure prevents undigested food particles and microbes from leaking into the bloodstream. However, when we eat processed junk and pop in antibiotics and other chemical medications, we disturb the delicate balance of bacteria in our gut. The tight junctions begin to get leaky and as a result, undigested food particles and microbes manage to enter into our bloodstream and they get deposited in all kinds of tissues. Our immune system begins to attack these deposits because they're foreign, because they're not meant to be there. This is the proper job of the immune system, so everything is good till this point. However, if you don't fix the leaky gut and you continue to eat the wrong kinds of foods, with time the immune system begins to attack all the time and it begins to identify the underlying body tissues where these wrong substances are actually lodged as being part of the enemy. And so the immune system begins to attack our own tissues leading to autoimmune disease. According to leading experts in this field, like Dr. Alex Vasquez at the International College of Human Nutrition and Functional Medicine, where the immune system attacks depends on the organ where the foreign particles get lodged and therefore different people can get different autoimmune diseases, despite the root cause of all of these being the same one, which is the leaky gut. So, because of the leaky gut, one person may end up with multiple sclerosis, another gets Crohn's, a third gets asthma, fourth gets rheumatoid arthritis and so on. So now that you have understood what could likely be the underlying cause of your autoimmune disease and now you know that it's reversible, go to sepalika.com and read this article by MD Dr. Radhika Dantala which outlines the principles of reversal of autoimmune disease. Wish you vibrant health and well-being.